Alright guys, well, while I drink my cup of coffee, I'll explain what's going on today. So yesterday I bought some new rear brake pads for the Civic, and I was prepared to install them, ready to go, and then I realized that I don't personally own a Deepwell 19 socket that will fit over my lug nuts. So I had to call a buddy, he came and dropped one off for me. It still didn't fit because just the inside kind of like tapered and I have like extended lug nuts so that it didn't really fit. Uh, so I wasn't able to do the brakes yesterday. Well, immediately after I did, like aborted the project, uh, I noticed that my driver's side rear brake caliper was kind of sticking because I'd be driving down the road and I could hear, uh, no, I couldn't hear, sorry. I could smell like a burning smell. And then I got out of the car and I was like sniffing around different areas of my car and I noticed that it was like generally coming from, not generally, like very specifically coming from the driver's side uh, rear caliper. So today I, well last night I bought the correct socket so now I can remove the wheels. And I'm gonna be taking a look at that today and also doing the brake pads. Now of course if the rear caliper is sticking I'm not going to go ahead and put new brake pads in just because, you know, why would I like waste brand new uh, brake pads? But if I can resolve the issue and confirm that the rear caliper is free and that it's good, then I'm going to go ahead and put those new brake pads in. But I'm definitely going to do the rear drive or uh, passenger side. So that's what you guys can be looking forward to today. I know I said that my next video would probably be a little bit different of a video. Uh, with the content of me showing you guys how to drive the 8th gen Civic, but I just figured since I was doing this, I might as well <clears throat> throw this video in first, and then maybe after I finish doing the breaks, I'll just record that next video so that I can edit them both and get them both up for you guys right away. I'm Yanni Knowles, and welcome to another video. All right, so for the uh, socket, for the lug nuts, I picked up one of these. Um, it was expensive for what it is, but it does fit and it is it is a half inch drive. Uh, I don't have a breaker bar, so I had to get one with half inch because there's no way I'm gonna be able to break these things loose with a three, three ace uh, ratchet. So I'm just gonna be using my half inch ratchet. I know it's not recommended, but that's what I'm gonna do and I'm gonna get those lug nuts off. All right, now I have both the wheels off and uh, I'm gonna begin investigating to see how we're gonna get this done. Bring the team with me, snatch you up if you got one Now they got my back and they ready for my album Know my shit is gold so I ain't worried about the outcome Got her on her stomach, now she asking for my outcome Haters wanna talk, or something y'all can put your mouth on Homies throwing pussy, think they really need a tampon Now it's my turn cause I knew that they wouldn't last long Get the track jumping, it's something that y'all can bounce on Just release the shit and I'm already getting offers Did it by myself so why the fuck I need a sponsor Always stay ahead man, something like a bar been climbing up the wall, rap game, Peter Parker Do it for the team until we all eating lobster Try to kick us out cause we ain't never acting proper See your girl want me, I can tell just by her posture Now you getting mad, but dog, it's your job to watch her she heard him come Well guys, there you have it, brakes are done, wheels are clean We just went to the car wash, car's super clean too uh, Tested out the brakes, they stopped nicely and also I figured out that the reason that that one caliper was sticking is actually because of the emergency brake or the, the handbrake. Um, so what we did is we, we engaged it and then we would put it down and I could not spin the rotor. So what I did is I unhooked, I can't exactly show you from here. I might be able to find a picture and just like put it here or something while I'm describing this. But there's like the cable for the handbrake comes out right next to the caliper and it's hooked onto the caliper on this little bracket that has a spring on it. 
And what happens is when you release the handbrake, the spring is supposed to um, put the cable back to its original position and disengage the brakes. Well, what was happening is the spring wasn't strong enough with how much resistance was on the cable to actually bring it all the way back to the disengaged position. So I unhooked the um, parking brake cable from the bracket and I put some anti-seize down inside the cable, like where it, where it goes inside the shroud, I guess. And uh, then I had Kearney pull the brake lever a bunch of times while I was pulling it back out. So we were kind of working the anti-seize down in there. And I put a like a couple rounds of anti-seize. And we put it all back together and it seems to be working just fine. So I, I haven't smelled any burning. Uh, hopefully I don't. And it's been good. So that's pretty much where I'm going to leave this one. Uh, my name is Yanni Knowles. That's Kern Dog. God. <laughs> you what? They don't do vlogs. She doesn't do vlogs, guys. And uh, as always, have a really nice day.